welcome back to my channel um, today I'm gonna take you with me on a little tour um, at Chernomore Casino and Hotel in Varna I think I'm gonna try to show you all around the, the facilities of the hotel um, the rooms and hopefully you get an idea and make a decision if you visit Varna um, to yeah, to visit the hotel too. If you're not following me uh, already, uh, my name is Maggie Eva and I'm blogging about fashion, beauty and travel. So today uh, you're gonna come with me to a little tour in Varna and more specifically in one of the iconic hotels. visited the hotel recently you're gonna see that there's a lot of um, war going on at the moment just because um, it's quite um, huge so you can't just close the whole hotel and have all the refurbishment at the same time it takes some stages so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna start actually first um, with the entrance I'm gonna pass by to um, the breakfast um, the restaurant I'm gonna show you as well the bar the iconic Sinatra bar which is in the top of the hotel and you have amazing amazing view you can actually see the whole bar now from different sides of the bar it's you have a live music there playing every single night and it's open all the year round so if you want to see Varna um, from the top with the iconic view and take amazing pictures this is the place to be so I'm gonna start with the view from the out balcony just to confirm because sometimes people want to stay in the room that have the best view and is the high class and it's just you can have a nice experience so our room is on the 14th floor um, and above us is only the bar and the restaurant the panoramic restaurant and the room number is 1402 in the corner so you have the best view literally I just want to take you with me to uh, the breakfast area um, and let's comment afterwards <music> Um, the restaurant is really really in a nice location you can oversee everything around you it's the highest building what is actually has not been done yet is the refurbishment of the back of the area which when you actually step in it looks really you know old and worn off um, obviously the facility and everything um, and uh, apart from that the breakfast is just normal breakfast you have um, full English breakfast you have the Bulgarian bits of breakfast like Panitsa, Pitki you have you have Bulgarian marmalade and all those kind of little things that Bulgarian do traditionally so you get this um, as well um, you have a couple of coffee machines as well with um, with tea, with cappuccino, like everything like you have in the all um, rest of the four star hotels. At start my morning coffee, I just wanted to show you the view uh, from the restaurant, uh, from the breakfast restaurant. So we just hang on. And here we go. It's only seven in the morning. I wanted to show you the two terraces um, and the restaurant so this side um, it's the south actually as you can see the view it's really early in the morning Oop. and uh, here we go. and you can choose from those two I um, I'm gonna show the north one as well so you can have a perfect view of the whole city literally. When it comes to um, breakfast and facility, what we're looking at uh, is a four-star hotel and it's 
you know, obviously it, it has a refurbishment going on at the moment. Uh, but if I have to specify the whole view of the hotel for the price you're paying for the room and the facility and the service you get, it's kind of what you're paying for, that's what you get. I want to show you the landing um, from the elevators. So these are the lifts. So we come in here, over here. This is the 14th floor. And uh, yes, let's go to the room. <laughs> Let's do a little tour um, the room. Um, so you have the um, card, which is for the electricity. You have to put it on here. And you're having, um, you're actually coming into the entrance where you can put your luggage. I'm gonna show you quickly. So we left um, our luggage here. I put the stuff away, but this is actually the space, which I wanted to show you. And uh, you have some hangers as well. It's quite really, let me show you quickly, like, not like that. It's quite nice area um, entry, which um, obviously you have quite a big space um, for the luggage. You're moving on to the space of the cupboard. So let me show you quickly. I already put the stuff away, but literally you have some extra blankets. Uh, you have some space here. Um, you have the safe. You have some more uh, space here and you have um, this is for the dry cleaning some more stuff as well for your shoes polish um, you have two um, rub uh, towels as well you have um, the flops it's quite spacious um, we are two people so there's a plenty of space I'm gonna show with the other way side as well which I wanted to um, actually point something. Here we go, down the space. Again, extra blanket, hangers, and I already put the stuff away, and some more space here. You can put luggage as well, um, like the big one, or maybe hand luggage, if you wanna store it there instead of over there. Now, the other thing which I wanted to um, point out, it's the iron, you can't see here, it's quite dark actually. Um, but it's the iron and an iron board as well, so it's quite handy. Let me show you. Here you go. Um. I'm in the room now, um, and I'm just gonna keep going. I bear in mind the reception is under going refurbishment, so it's it's gonna look completely different. Um, I guess if you visited um, over this summer, you're gonna be probably disappointed at that point of view. But if you visit next summer, I am I'm absolutely um, sure that you're gonna be surprised. Now I'm gonna show you my little sister, my daughter. It's gonna be with me, and I'm gonna show you the room which I am in right now. It's a little bit messy, so I'm not gonna show you the room right now. But the room you're gonna see in a minute, it's the double executive room, which is the higher class. Um, they have an apartments as well, which I actually asked um, the housekeeper to show me. And uh, and they're quite big. You have a you have a living room with a you know dining uh, table with six chairs. You have a kitchen area. Um, you have two separate rooms, which could be connected as well, part of the uh, the apartment. But this again, if you have a family, you know, if you're more than four people, I guess, because otherwise it, it's literally, it's really huge. You don't need that space for just to sleep um, here. And yes, enjoy the tour. Um, I'm going to show you around this room. So here we've got like spots we can sit and here's a freezer and here's some drawers. Then we've got stuff here. And we've got the price list, many yes, we have some info uh, for the hotel itself and the phone. So a nice TV as well. We're turning around. What else do you have here? This is the couch. Right, yeah. And then this bed is up to my waist. Yeah. 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 Um, selection. So small. It's time to show you the room, guys. This is the um, executive table room. Uh, let me just 
to a wide um, view and I'm gonna start from the left side as you can see um, it's really well designed it's actually really, really nice as you can see the paintings as well I mean literally amazing decoration and design um, the bed is really, really comfy as you can see everything it's ready for you it's just been clean actually um as well you have uh, two pillowcases i'm actually using this one because this is quite a big one i don't really need it um so you have a little couch uh with a little table where you can relax uh you have a coffee machine i'm gonna show you here here we go yeah the coffee machine i actually like the pink one <laughs> i know and you can have some, um, uh, some as well, some green tea, some sugar, some Nescafe. Uh, you have some glasses, obviously cups as well. And uh, nice mirror because this is really important. I think lots of people, hey, um, lots of people don't have, um, actually, they don't have in the room. Sometimes when you, the lots of hotels actually don't have this in the room. So it's quite really nice um, to have it. You have a fridge. I'm going to show you now. Here you go. That's the fridge. Um, it's full with everything. And, you know, you can um, actually use them. And they will be charged in the end of your um, stay. You have a nice white um, flat TV as well. You have some um, information here about the hotel and the casino um, in English and Bulgarian as well. Here we go, room service menu as well. Um, so you have the price list. Um, and yeah, it, it just the security like things. I'm going to show you the view as well. Let me just do that a little bit. We're on the 14th floor at the moment. So just a quick view again of the room. This is the executive. I really like the room. Is it worth the price I'm paying? The air con is on the top, as you can see. Yes, it is. Definitely. And I will stay again. I cannot wait, actually, for them to do the refurbishment of the hotel, in, like the whole hotel and the restaurants and the piano bar and everything, because it's going to be really nice. So I'm going to head to the view. And it's in the 14th floor, 1402 room, as you can see again. I know I already had that video, I think, but yeah, the aircon. Maybe um, it's nice if they have a little table there, I don't know. But this is my view again, it's not necessary. Um, and it's five in the afternoon, beautiful, beautiful weather. It's a little bit windy today, but it's just, it's just unbelievable. I'm telling you, wow. I had friends that stay in the second or the fifth floor as well, so they did have iron and they did have, had all the little facilities. The higher floors, which have been done um, the last year, actually, which is 13 and 14, um, have an old traditional uh, key, which I'm going to show you in a minute. This is the key. So this is what you have if you're on the 13 or 14 floor and you have an um, electronic card which you put for the electricity you put in in the, um, in the corridor. The rest of the, the floors have just the electronic key so you can open them with the electronic key. You don't have this one, the old fashioned. I've been told from the section you're going to have this next year for everywhere. I mean literally all the floors. And uh, yeah, that's, that was the interesting thing, but it's really, really nice. I'm going to show you right now. It's time to move to the bathroom. Um, let me just show you around how it looks like again. Uh, the bathroom size, it's quite, quite um, big as well. It's spacious. I'm going to, let's try. I already put my stuff here, but oh my God, sorry, the light is just kind of funny, isn't it? Uh, we do the filming but as you can see the sink um, it's quite white as well so two people can be here you have a mirror with some lights as well that's me <laughs> um, another one so I have a hair dryer and this is magnifier one. Oh my god look at my eyes <laughs> okay cool um, 
Yes, so basically I left already our stuff, so you have some towels underneath um, as well. Um, you have some toiletries, so you can see selection of shampoo, um, shower gel, and you have some, this is amenity, I'm gonna show you actually. It's, it's good to know what is inside, to be honest. Not every hotel has it, so as you can see, you have actually, oh, it's quite handy, quite a lot of stuff inside. Okay, let's let's face it, face, milk, hydration, cleaning for your face, so yeah, ladies, you're sorted, and you have the dental kit as well, I think you have two, as if it's for two people, and that's what is the shaving kit as well for men, so yeah. It's perfect, perfect. Uh, I'm not gonna open it, but maybe I can slide in pictures afterwards just to see what it looks inside. Um, moving to that direction. Okay, this is the, so you have a shower cabin as well. It's really, really spacious, guys. I literally, it's, I mean, I know it doesn't sound right, but three people can fit in it. <laughs> How spacious is that? So um, basically, here we go. It's brand new and it's really, really nice. Here we go. I'm gonna close this so you can have a look at the, the size as well of it. And this is um, basically the bathtub. Um, again, I'm not quite sure I'm gonna use it, but it's it's nice extra to have in the room if you want to. This is the the rails for the towels as well, as you can see, quite nice. And you have the radiator as well, quite spacious this area. Actually, and I just wanted to show you something really interesting, which um, some of the hotels have, some of the hotel doesn't have. So you have the toilet um, and you have the bed as well, which not many hotels has it, but it's actually really nice to have a like a nice um, extra. Um, in any any bathroom as well. These little areas here with uh, <laughs> this on uh, cactuses are really, really nice, and it just makes this whole bathroom experience pleasant actually. So you ca can actually stay here, have a nice bath, relax, and it's really uh, really have this feel uh, of um, relaxing. Um, basically as you're on a holiday so yeah let me show you quickly so that's how it looks like I will give it five star rating I know the hotel is only four star I think but I really, really like it so that's it so the the location what is good about the location new york close to literally everything so you get out from the hotel you have the amazing um street walking street which i used to do when i was a little girl the center of london there's no cars allowed you can walk around see the shops see the old buildings in the town um you're actually close to i think it's around 200 meters to the beach or 100 actually not 200 sorry 100 meters to the beach so you have quite lots of beaches around if you want to go central, but if you want to go a little bit further to Golden Sands or St. Constantine Helen Lena, you can get a taxi, which it's going to cost you, I guess, it's around 10 Bulgarian lefts to get to there, or uh, 12, depends on the season, I guess. And uh, yeah, you can just literally, you don't need um, any car if you want to stay in central and you want to see the city. Um, in general here, but if you want to go further and see um, the resorts, then you're gonna obviously need a car. I wouldn't, if we weren't with the family, I mean, like in a holiday ways, I wouldn't hire a car. It's just, I don't need it really. The hotel has a parking, which um, charge 20 Bulgarian left for 24 hours. In the area, you can park everywhere. We call it uh, and you have to pay between 9 in the morning and 8 in the evening. It's the space and zones like um, like you pay, I think it was two, uh, two Bulgarian lefts per hour and 16 for uh, a day in general. And you can um, you pay up to three hours and then you cannot 
pay more than three hours in a row you have to get out the, with the car from the space you you park for half an hour and you can come back again actually guys i didn't really wanted to um do a little video of the casino but i wasn't allowed to apparently they did not allow me so i only um took a little short video of the steps unfortunately so hope you don't mind i'm gonna show you quickly and uh, the casino so this is the entrance i'm just gonna walk out lead just a little bit um all the way up as you can see just getting there here you go uh, and you land basically to the top which is the entrance of the casino but i'm obviously not allowed to stay there so it's really beautiful and you can just say good luck the staff is really friendly um some uh, obviously you have to the service is a little slow to be honest with you um it, it's not like a five star service you get um, but again the hotel is only four star and it has an innovation so i'll do this i'll give them a from five points i'll give them probably three and a half max they have to work on that by the way if you like my video and if you do please subscribe to my channel Maggie eva and follow me on all social media as well until next time bye